Hello, my lovelies. What exactly is up with all of these ugly medieval babies? There has always been this sort of primordial fascination with transforming objects into new objects through magic, force of will, or science. Many religions and cultures around the world refer to creatures and objects that were created through a process called transmutation. Good examples would be the corn mother who used her flesh to make corn in order to feed her people, or the Jewish golem, where in the book of creation, one of the seven names of God would be placed into its mouth and through this ritual, the mud husk would then animate and serve its creator. Philip von Hohenheim, or Paracelsus as he was referred to in many alchemical circles, was a Swiss-German philosopher and occultist who created a recipe for a sort of chemical homunculi, or little men. As detailed in his controversial work from 1537, he proposed that you combine human sperm with horse dung as a sort of fertilizer that could then be baked and transformed into a creature. Plato once proposed that a single fully grown tree existed within a walnut and with the right processes and incubation would then multiply in size and grow into its full potential. This idea prevailed throughout much of history and early medical thinkers believed that every sperm contained within it a single, tiny, fully formed little man or homunculus. In several depictions of the Annunciation of Mary, if you look very closely, you can see a tiny, fully formed, perfect Jesus being slingshotted down from heaven and towards Mary like a heavenly sperm bullet. Generally speaking, most of the medieval artwork that we see around now in museums and books and online databases were commissioned by the church and carefully preserved by the church. There was this belief that Jesus was born perfectly formed because of his divine heritage, so they depicted him in art as this tiny muscular man, a homunculus, created through immaculate conception rather than born. It isn't that medieval artists didn't know how to draw medieval babies, they just chose to draw him that way. He transcended being completely human, and so they made that separation more obvious in their artwork. Seriously though, it's really fun to like sit there and like thumb through medieval paintings of the Annunciation of Mary and trying to find the tiny baby Jesus. It's like a game of Where's Waldo, except it's Jesus. Anyway, my lovelies, I hope this video has been interesting and insightful, and I hope it has inspired you to research more and do whatever. I've left some information down in the description below if you are interested, and I think I'm gonna go and do some artwork now. Yeah. So, goodbye. I love you. Forever. To eternity. Anyway, I love you guys. Mwah! Paracelsus. 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 Paracelsus.